Good afternoon guys, this is Trooper Weekly here, back with another video. Yeah, that was kind of crazy. Anyway, <laughs> we're gonna do a bubble tutorial. Yes, I know. A lot of people were asking me, hey, Weekly, how do you do your things? How do you create do this? How do you do that? You know what? I'ma show you how I do my things. All right. <clears throat> so if you haven't already, you want to head to bubble or well, https dot bubble dot io Create an account if you already had to create an account. If you already created an account, congratulations, you're one step ahead. Now what you want to do is you want to go ahead and log in. All right, and we're going to be creating a new app. All right, go ahead and name that app whatever the hell you want to. Doesn't really matter. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, can't do that. So let me just go ahead and do a bunch of freaking names. That works. Okay. I know. I'm going too fast. Why don't I go too fast? You know what? We haven't done the intro yet. I just realized that. So let's go ahead and get straight into the damn intro. And after the intro, we'll come back and do this. Okay? Bye bye! Look like you've seen a ghost. <laughs> Alright guys, so go ahead and jump straight into the video. Alright, so today we're going to be, I, not we, I, <laughs> am going to be teaching you how to do a sign-up form. Alright, so if you haven't already, go ahead and create your app that you wanted to do a sign-up form or login form. Alright, so this video we're going to be doing a sign-up, in the next video we do a login. Alright, <coughs> <coughs> sorry about that, but once you create your app, alright, go in here, of course you want to go and start with the blank page and do what you got to do. Alright, as of as of right now, I already signed up. Mm, let's go ahead and make this sign up form. Okay. Alright, you did the color. Okay. And, um, so what we're gonna do <laughs> is, um, we're gonna go to get the container. Alright, and let's go ahead and make it maybe 350. Uh, make it 380. Oh, way too big. If I can learn how to freaking do that, but okay. <clears throat> so we made a 380. And make that 500. Okay. Now that you got that done, we're gonna add some text. Go ahead and sign up form. And let's go ahead and have that 24. Make that 5. And just edit the height of it. Alright. And this, is, we're gonna put that 20 for the top, and we're gonna send that horizontally so that way it's aligned. Okay. Um, but instead, now we're gonna get an input. All right, we're gonna enter the input, and we're gonna go ahead and do the design. Oh, if I can learn how to spell, that'd be great. Okay. And set the roundness to that horizontal padding to that, and we're gonna name this name. Okay. And put that 95. Now we set it to 100. Sure, why not? You know what? We're going to do 85. Okay. We're going to set it 20 from the edge. Okay. And that's one. And that's two. Alright, so whenever I do horizontal. Good. Okay. Alright, I'll pause the video and I'll come back whenever I'm done doing the uh, sign up form. Alright? Alright, guys, we're back. So, as you can tell, I already have the sign up form. I have the name, uh, the phone number, the email, the password, and of course, to confirm the password. Alright? <clears throat> so, what we're going to do is we're going to go and double click um, the sign up button. My bad, had a brain fart. So that we can open up the properties of the sign up button. So we're gonna go ahead and click start edit workflow. Okay. You wanna click to add an action and under the account we're gonna click sign the user up. Alright, so where it says email, what we're gonna do is gonna search for the email input as you're right there. <coughs> and we're gonna put S file. So S file is pretty much going to be the content that is tight within that input field. Alright, same thing for the password. We're gonna do password S file. And since we have a 
confirm password we're going to click require a password confirmation and we're going to link that confirmation password input <clears throat> into the workflow all right now that's not done we see that I have a name input and a phone number input all right so what we're gonna do is we're gonna head over to the data tab under the user a data type we're gonna create a new field all right I like to do this so that way I know what field is for what purpose all right we're gonna name this name and we're gonna make it a text okay same thing we're gonna be doing this and we're gonna be doing phone number all right and this is going to be a text all right when you're done now we're gonna head back to your workflow open up uh, that action and click to change another field all right since we have two fields that we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing name and phone number <clears throat> so we're going to of course click name under the users data type and of course phone number now what we're going to do is link the name input field with the uh, data type or the data field and the user database same thing with the phone number alright now once we're done we're going to go in here if you want to send an email you can I usually don't I just go ahead and reset inputs alright and now you shall have a plugin alright I'm just going to add this plugin and it's pretty much giving me the air alert alright uh, created by air Dev. if you want to go check them out they are a great plugin producer all right so we're gonna uh not download install the air alert plugin as we can tell it's in our install plugins now we're gonna go back to the workflow when I click to add another action I go to plugins if it'll work thank you and go to air alert standard what I like to do I set the notification type to information I don't have a teddy title and I just put account well, let's go ahead and put your account has been created. All right, put a period. Then boom. Okay. And to know that the user is currently logged in, we're going to go ahead and create a text field up here. And we're going to insert the dynamic data. We're going to do current user's name. All right. And I'm going to have this set that to white and it's going to put that to 14 point okay all right and we are going to overlay that yep it was 14 my bad okay so now we got the current current <laughs> current user's name we're going to create another text and we're going to have this log out all right <coughs> <laughs> now whenever I'm gonna have it to whenever this text is hovered let's go ahead and set the font color to like a blue font color have it underlined and let's go ahead and do the transactions for the font color all right now we're gonna click start edit workflow and we're going to log the user out whenever this text is clicked or pressed all right, it will log the user out of their account if you don't already know what logout means. Okay. Now what we're gonna do? <sighs> Sorry about that, guys. Kind of a bit of a tired. Had a long day. Now once you're done, I'm going to select these two, right click, and we're gonna group these in an element. All right, and of course I'm going to go edit this. Um, yeah, we're going to go ahead and this. We're going to set that to five. All right. But we are going to unclick that. And the roundness, of course, is going to be zero. All right. Under the conditional, what we're going to do is only when the current user is logged in, do we want this element to be visible. Okay. But in order to have the element visible, we have to have unchecked this to where it says this ele element, my bad, this element is visible on page load so whenever the page loads this element is going to be automatically visible 
we want to uncheck that because we want to have this element invisible only when the current user is logged in okay now we're going to click preview and this is going to preview your app and if you get something like this and don't worry it's an easy fix all you got to do is go in here and make this a fixed width now what are we doing is I'm going to be doing that I'm going to pretty much do like some design uh, workflow and let's go ahead and do input number one Alright. Okay. Forgot a transition. So we're gonna do the transition and we're gonna do the border color or colors. We're gonna have that it's gonna have it like ease in and out. Alright, and now we're gonna set this style to all the inputs to give it more of that, you know, modern look. <coughs> Alright, now once you're done, we're gonna update the page. And as you right there, you can see that we have just created our sign up form. Now, to show that it works, we are going to type this in. If I can learn how to type. Okay, it's one, two, three. Alright, guys. So now we got the sign up form created. I am having to create a new video because this is the third video I'm having to create. But, um,. Because the last one I didn't create because I have keybinds and I was using my numpad and when I hit three, hit four, my bad, hit kind of in the video. So I'm having to make a new one once again. Anyway, so what we're going to do is we're going to go and test out the sign up form. Alright, we're going to go and type in the name. It's going to be weekly D. Alright, email. Not using numpad. I'm just going to make it all once. Email. It's going to be demo at gmail.com. My bad, typing and not even typing in the freaking input. So at gmail.com, password, it's going to be demo one. I don't care if I tell you guys the password because it's just a YouTube tutorial. All right, I'm going to click sign up. Now, as you can tell, the password confirmation is telling us that the two passwords don't match, and I did that on purpose. All right, demo one. Okay. Now that we signed up, well, that's uh, messed up. <laughs> of course, we see our plugin that's currently working, letting us know that our account's been created. And like I said, this will only show if the current users are currently logged in. As of right now, we are currently logged in. All right, now I'm gonna log out, boom, I'm logged out. Okay, and if you want to be able to view all users that signed up for you app, all right, head to the data tab and head to app data and you want to go ahead and click on the user database and you're going to see all the users signed up if you uh, have not seen every user go ahead and click refresh data it's going to refresh the uh, database all right anyway guys that's going to be the end of this video if you guys liked it be sure to like comment and subscribe <sighs> a yawn was coming on try to get that up before a yawn <laughs> anyway and um if you thought the video was helpful be sure to give me a thumbs up because that always helps. And if you want to um, get notified of any more of the bubble tutorials, I do. Because if you're watching the day of upload of this upload, I'll be posting a video tomorrow. So if you want to go and hit the subscribe button, hit that little bell so that we get notified of any of the videos, go to do that because that also tremendously helps. Anyway, guys, this is Trooper Weekly. Oh, wait, before I sign off, I will leave my Discord DM, all right, my Discord tag. In the description down below and an invite to my company so if you need any help if you can't you get a hold of me right away join my company create a support ticket and let us know what you need help with and my support team will try and assist you with your problem okay but anyway guys this is true quickly and i am signing off bye bye Look like you've seen